Alright guys, as you know, I am Mike Ruthless. We got some uh, more Transformers Prime figures, and we got this guy here, Sergeant Cup. Or as I like to call him, uh, Sergeant Crap, because although not a bad figure, got a lot of detail in my focus. But he's just like, the I think, the worst Transformers Prime figure they, that they made, you know. And, uh, I mean, this obviously goes the other way, but it snaps off easily, you know. It goes in like this. So then when you, because his head's in there, you know, it flats before, but you can't, that's as far as it goes. And then boom, snaps right off. So I just take it and uh, put it on like that. It looks a lot better like that anyway. So I guess I guess that's how they designed it, if you, get, you gotta say. But anyway, and like I said, I'm gonna give you an honest review. I'm not gonna tell you to go buy it because it's great. It's not great. But I did buy this for like six bucks. Seven bucks. I didn't pay full price, so I can't really. Not not a bad uh, deal. Lots of detail on them. Some transparencies. Autobot symbol. Two cannons, of course. Movie inspired. Feet are kind of eh, kind of lacking. We turn them around. So, and the wheels are kind of like that too. So, uh, my thumb out of the way. And uh, it's not a bad figure, but again, it's like it's one of those things where. He was in the cartoon, so they get they gave him. In the, I know Japan released this guy as Ironhide, which actually would have been a lot better if we got him as Ironhide, because I wouldn't mind it as much. Because that's Ironhide's head. Come on, that's not Cup. Yeah, Hasbro doing this on purpose, of course. They like doing that. They did it with the alternators. Uh, was it Breakdown? Dead End. Yeah, it was obviously it was supposed to be Sunstreaker, but no, we're not going to do that to him. We're not going to give him what they want. So, and he ended up being Sunstreaker later. Anyway. There's Cup, Sergeant Cup. So-so uh, figure. It's, it's not the greatest. I mean, he came out around the same time as uh, Rumble, Transformers Prime Rumble. And actually, you know what? Let me bring him in since he'll be the next review. And there's Rumble. Rumble is just a real fun figure to have. And here's, here's where Hasbro really uh, uh, fucked up. Yeah, I said it. Because uh, they love doing repaints. They love re doing retools. They could have painted him... Red into Frenzy. But no, Japan got him instead. Uh, it was Arms Micron, it was called. You know? And um, I would have loved to have gotten a red one. Come on, man. This is, see, this is where Hasbro just like, the, some of the stuff they do is just like, what the fuck, you know? Or, what, you know, you're, you're shaking your head like, what, what, what are they thinking? Who cares? Don't give us this guy. Give us a red one of that guy so we can go with Soundwave, you know? So, but anyway, he's in the next review. There's Sergeant Cup. You got the two cans. They barely like they come. Look, at, they barely stay on there. This one's actually eh, it's just as loose, but I mean, for what it's worth, you know, it's good. It's a good kid toy. You know, for collector wise, I and it's good to display. You know, it's not horrible. It's not bad, but it's not great. You know, like I said, I wouldn't recommend it. If you see them though for like two, three bucks, pick them up though, you know. So if you go to a show or something, they're loose. But um, this was towards the end of the run. Of course, at this point, they're five and below. And Marshalls and TJ Maxx were getting all the prime figures, so. But, uh. Anyway. There's uh, Transformers Prime Sergeant Cup. He got demoted. He used to be General. But I think, uh, who's got General? I don't think anyone's got General. General Grimlock? There we go. All right, enough of the uh, banter and uh, bad jokes and bad puns. Let's transform this guy. All right, so here's Sergeant Cup. I mean, crap. I mean, whatever. The vehicle mode's not bad, actually. It, it's pretty good. It, it fits together pretty well. Like I said, it's just like they could have done so much more with the uh, robot mode that they didn't go with. I don't know why they didn't go with it, but... um. Let's take a look closer to the guy real quick. So here's uh, some nice details there. Not too many paint apps. The wheels. And uh, come on, get back, get, get in focus there. There you go. The wheels just kind of hang like that. Both of them. Do. I don't know. I'm not sure why. I mean, I push them in. Even if you push them in good, they're still kind of like crooked. I don't get that. So, okay, so there's some nice detail on the grill in the front. And then. Get the transparent for the glass there. And there's underneath. Of course, you got a gaping hole right down the middle there. So. There you go there. So. 
So there's a Transformers Prime Sergeant Cup. Uh, not the best figure in the line. Like I said, it's my least favorite one. But it really depends on you guys if you want them or not. Um, not a bad figure. It's, it's, it's a fun figure to play with. You know, beat him up, blow him up when it was put a firecracker in him. Uh, but uh, he's okay. I would I would skip him if I were you guys. You don't need him in the collection. There's other guy. There's other figures that are bad. This is probably like the worst one out of all of them. But, you know, but it's still not bad for being Transformers Prime. But uh, yeah, Transformers Sergeant Cup, Sergeant Crap as I call him. I'm Mike Ruthless. I'll see you next time.